For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do these two problems that give you the magnitude of the forces and they tell you determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force. So basically we have three points, A, B and C, and we got the forces along those uh, two chords. So first we're going to find the position vectors, which are very easy to find. For A is 0 in the I plus 0 in the J plus 6 in the K. For B is 2 in the I minus 3 in the J plus 0 in the K because it's right at the floor. And for C is 3 in the I plus 2 in the J plus 0 in the K because it's also right on the ground. Now we need to find the two uh, vectors from A to B and from A to C and their respective unit vectors. So let's start with A to B. From A to B, you do it by doing Bx minus A of X times I plus B of Y minus A of Y times J plus B of C minus A of C times K. When you plug the numbers from this two into this formula, you're going to get that this vector is equal to 2i minus 3j minus 6k. Now you need to find the magnitude of this vector by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. You're going to get that the magnitude is exactly 7. Now dividing the vector by its magnitude will give you the univector AB. So you're going to divide each of these components by the magnitude and you're going to get this univector with a length of 1 which comes out to be 0.285i minus 0.429j minus 0.857k. And this is the unit vector from A to B, so it's going to be this vector right here with a length of 1. By multiplying the unit vector times the force, the magnitude of the force of B, which is given in both problems, it's going to give you the vector for F of B. But I'm going to calculate this and the end as I'm doing two problems. So for now, just remember this is the unit vector UAB. Now let's do a C vector U calculated in the same manner, which will be CX minus AX, CY minus AY, and CC minus AC. And you get that this vector is equal to 3I plus 2J minus 6K. Calculating the magnitude of this vector is also 7 and dividing the vector by its magnitude gives you the unit vector AC which is this unit vector right here with a length of 1. This unit vector is 0.429 I plus 0.286 J minus 0.857 K and we got the second unit vector so now that we have the two unit vectors both problems become very easy so let me do this problem first let's call this problem problem 2 so for 1 f of b is equal to the magnitude of f of b, which is given right here, times the unit vector a, b, this vector right here. And by multiplying the 516 newtons by each of the values, you get this new vector. It comes out to be 160i minus 240j minus 480k. 
f of c is calculated by doing the magnitude of f of c which is given by u a c which we calculated right here and is equal to 300 i plus 200 j minus 600 k f of r which is what we're looking for all you got to do is add these two together x with the x y with the y c with the c and f of r comes out to be 460i minus 40j minus 1080k but we have to find the magnitude of f of r which can be calculated by doing the square root of the components added so you square each of these components and you square root them and that comes out to be 1174.6 and the angles for f of r are calculated by doing the cosine inverse of the x component over the magnitude the cosine inverse of the y component over the magnitude and the cosine inverse of the c component over the magnitude and the angles come out to be 66.992 degrees and 157 degrees and this is for the first one let me draw a line right here so now we're going to do the second one right here f of r oh sorry we need f of b is calculated in this fall in this manner just f of b times u a b which we calculated right here but this time we're going to use a different magnitude which is 700 so f of b comes out to be 200 i minus 300 j minus 600 k same thing with um, f of c you multiply the magnitude which is given and this time is 560 instead of 700 times the uni vector AC and it comes out to be 240 plus 160 sorry this is an 240i 160j minus 480k the resultant force is the two forces added together and the two forces added together are 440i minus 140j minus 1080k now to find the magnitude of the resultant force because that's what they want you find it with this exact same formula but with these new values and you get that it's equal the same thing All you did is actually uh, just change the value slightly, but it comes out to be the same thing. And the angles are calculated just like we did here, but with these new values, and they are slightly different. 68 degrees, 96.8 degrees, and 156.7 degrees. So what did we do? We found the unit vectors multiplied by the magnitude of the force. We got the forces, add them together, find the resultant force like we've been doing for all these previous exercises in this chapter. And then we did the same thing, but with new values for the magnitudes. The magnitude searches flip on each of the exercises. So these are the four final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help.
Thank you.